starts just after seven, just rolling out of Thargaminda along the, I think it's the Baloo Development Road, but I could be wrong, but it's the road that runs from Thargaminda out to towards Inaminka, but it changes its name somewhere there. But yeah, it's a lovely day. It was a nice warm night last night. Um, nice little town of Thargaminda that seemed entirely deserted except for about three people at the caravan park. But I think that was about all we saw. Yeah. Looks like another nice day. The rain seems to have disappeared. It rained a bit last night, but it all seems to be nice and dry. And I think we're on tarmac until we get to Inaminka now. So be a fairly quick morning out there and then uh, onto Cordillo Downs Road which is going to be a bit slower I think because it's all Gibber Plain and stuff so that could be a fair bit slower but it looks like we're coming into Gibber now looking on the south of the windows it looks rather stony or Gibbery in fact Oh, look at this big boy crossing the road. It is a massive cow. He does not care. Oh wow. That would be a good night, car. That's it for the Blue Development Road on to Inaminka Road. I think we've got about 250 k's to go to Inaminka. Lovely set of toilets and bins. Interesting. In the middle of nowhere. We've got 257 k's to go. been a fairly cruisy morning so far. I think we've pulled about 200 k's out. I think it's just after nine. Um, we've just stopped to chill out with the puppies and get me out of the car at a bit of a roadside stop. There's been a lot of gas fields the whole way along, but nowhere to really stop. But this is um, in channel country now. And this stop is, it claims to be Cooper Creek. So this is obviously a fair bit upstream from the dig tree site, but um, yeah, it's definitely in flood. There's almost no traffic, so giving the puppies a good play. Snowy's had a swim, Cinder's having a good run. But the flies are out in force. Well, there's been lots of birds around this morning as well. Unfortunately, there's been a few who've decided to fly in front of the car. But it's a lovely day, 20 odd degrees. <laughs> Snowy's having a good swim. Yeah, it's flowing. Charging along. A lot of water.
across the cattle grid and into South Australia. Hooray! There you go, kids, we're in Inaminka. Again. Might be a bit cooler than last time. Yep. It's going to be cooler than it was last time. That's the, uh, I should have done the tyres there. <laughs> oh dear. Water crossing. Right, kids, water crossing to start the day. Now we just refilled in Inaminka and speaking to the guy at the roadhouse said there's a lot of rain coming on Tuesday night so we looked at the map and it looks like it's going through the desert Tuesday night which is when we're supposed to be in the desert so we think we're going to try and punch through to get Birdsville today instead of staying somewhere near Cordillo Downs um, so we just pulled onto Cordillo Downs Road I think it's about 400 k's or something straight through to Birdsville um, so it shouldn't be too bad as long as this road's in decent condition um, we'll stay in Birdsville and that means we can head out tomorrow into the desert instead of waiting a day. It means we can hopefully at least be in Birdsville for the rain. Um, so if we get stuck somewhere or actually stuck in Birdsville or the next town along, make it a bit safer um, for food and stuff. We can get stuck there for a few days, but better than being stuck in the desert. So, otherwise we're on Cordillo Downs Road and this looks like it's going to be great. It's bumpy already. out of what is it? About 100 k's out of Inaminka and the road just turned to sand and is quite rough and corrugated and windy. Looks like we're going through some dunes or something. Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely quite sandy and bumpy and rough and drifty. The lights has been really good. I'm just going to Thank you. 
Modulo Downs turn off and the Arabury Road comes in here. Um, so yeah, let's go up through Cordillo Downs station now, which must be massive. This, I don't know what to see, it looks like it's the whole north east corner of South Australia above in a minka, but I have to look it up because yeah, it looks enormous. It says we've got another 4 hours, 20 minutes to go, but I don't think it's going to be that much. It's only 277k, so it should be 3.5 hours maybe, who knows. That's the Cordillo Station, Cordillo Downs Station, and just the gate on the northern side of their property. This is Cal Cadelga Ruins, um, uh, which is at the top of the Cordillo Downs Road. Um, we're up right up near the border. The road from the station up to here was pretty terrible. There like, just wasn't a single bit of respite the whole way. It was sort of on and off the brakes and really bumpy and not in good condition. So it was really slow going, really hard. So we just stopped here to check this out. There's a lovely lagoon which the dogs are very much enjoying. Both Snowy hasn't stopped drinking and just is sitting in the water, cooling down. And Cinder's been running around and getting nice and wet. But these are the ruins up here. It's an old station. Um, obviously built here because of the Billabong Lagoon, whatever you call it behind us. Yeah, quite a big, um, big house. Yeah, it would have been, I mean it's, what is it, where are we, 2nd of October and it's 30 something degrees, it would have been fairly unpleasant here in summer, I don't know when it was abandoned, that's a fairly old car, yeah it's pretty cool. Yeah, whole bunch of buildings. Massive fireplace. People camp here apparently, but we're not. We'll make it onto Birdsville. Still pretty 20 k's to go, I think, about 150 k's, but we'll get there.